this is Mission Control speaking. The year is 1969. NASA is at a testing base and in a mere few hours are preparing to send two astronauts, one named Buzz Aldrin and the other named Neil Armstrong, into space for the very first time. We've been training for years for this one moment, Neil. Yes, Buzz. I think we are ready to be the first men to ever walk on the moon. Are you boys ready down there? The systems are checking out as clear, and we should be set to launch in an hour or so. We are ready, Rob, to be the first people to ever step foot on another world. Godspeed, Neil. Amen. Well, here we are. Buzz and Neil are in the rocket and are ready to launch. All safety measures are accounted for and the rocket was prepared this morning. Neil, how is everything in there, bud? Mission Control, this is Neil Armstrong reporting that me and Buzz are strapped in and cleared for takeoff. On your command. Okay, Neil, all engines are go. Begin the countdown. Neil, we are in deep space, about halfway to the moon. We've been up here for around two days now. How you feeling? I'm doing well, Buzz. All systems check out and I've been practicing calculations needed to land this baby on the moon. That's going to be our biggest challenge of all. So we want to make sure we, are, we have everything right. I hear you, Neil. It'll take a lot of concentration from both of us to land this rocket safely on the moon. How are things back at home, Rob? All your vitals check out, boys, and rockets seem to be functioning fine from what I can see down here. It's ultimately up to you to land that rocket on the moon, though. Thanks for the words of encouragement, Rob. Hey, Neil. After four days, six hours, and 45 minutes, we have finally done it. We reached the moon. Now all we must do is land to the ship and we'll be all set. I hear you loud and clear, Buzz. We are taking in for a nice and smooth landing. As we speak, I need to stretch my legs and collect some samples of moon rock to bring back to Earth. Easy does it. Nice and slow there, Neil. Bring her down gently. We don't want to wake anybody. <laughs> I'm aiming for that crater right there. Brace yourselves, Buzz. <coughs> That could have been smoother, but hey, we are the first humans to land on the moon. Time to get our suits on and look around. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. By God, Neil, we've done it. We're the first humans to ever walk the surface of the moon. This is an amazing feat. It's like nothing I've ever seen. So dark and gray, the sky is nothing but a black void filled with tiny stars. I know, Buzz. It's quite astounding. We must collect rock samples to carry out our further research on the moon. Look at the size of those craters. Well, Buzz, it looks like that that's all the time we have and all the rock samples we need. Time to head home. We're almost making touchdown with the ocean, Neil. This is it. Yeah, I hear you, Buzz. After that four-day return trip, I just want to get home and see my family. It was a truly amazing trip, but I missed this planet in the meantime. Psst. Looks like we are floating in the ocean now, Neil. Time to radio into Bob and er, into Rob and see if he can get us picked up. We have a watercraft coming to your location, boys, to pick you up as we speak. Hang tight. They'll be there soon. Welcome home, gentlemen. <laughs> 